Good afternoon again. I must say I'm really thrilled to see that you've all made the way over here. I thought we might lose a few given that we're in Paris and I'm really, really pleased that you've all come and I can assure you we won't disappoint. Um, um, I've been given the um, opportunity to introduce both the group and what we are going to launch tonight in a few words. Um, those of you who regularly read the updates from the donor platform will have heard that um, almost a year ago now, donors who have significant policy interest investments in land came together in Washington DC and agreed that, well, we need to inform we need to be better informed, we need to ensure better information sharing, and we need to improve in coordination. Um, not just on territorial approaches, but land being uh, in the pro se and territorial approach, that was the focus. And uh, that was actually the moment the thought of having a global donor group on land was born. Um, the group came into being in August 2013, and I'm pleased to say that DIFID is the inaugural chair. By now we have some roughly 22, 23 donors in the group, um, both <coughs> multilateral and bilateral donors, and we hope that we can increase this number a lot more. Um, you can go to the group's webpage on the donor platforms webpage if you want to see more, all the relevant information, minutes of meetings, etc., etc., will be there. So I'll be brief today. Everything is, um, is there, and you can also approach me later if you have uh, specific questions. Now, one of the top priorities for year one um, is um, to improve information sharing and coordination among the donors, but also with external stakeholders. And to start with, the thought was born thanks to a very active member we have in the group, that is USAID, to um, compile a donor database. What is actually happening and what are we as the members funding on land and property rights? And in particular, how does it map against priorities set out in the Global Voluntary Guidelines on land tenure? Um, and uh, this is an effort that we started last year. Um, supported by Gregory Myers and uh, Jeremy Green of Cloud Source Group and uh, with significant support from the Global, Global Donor Platform. And while it is work in progress, we felt it is too important a piece of work, both for ourselves but also for interested external stakeholders, be that governments, be it investors, to see what is happening on property and land rights and, and what programs and what contacts to go to in a particular part of the world. And um, that's why we decided we'll use this year's AGA to launch the first version of the global database. And uh, we hope that in the medium term we will not have a lot more programs funded by donors mapped there, but also um, that governments, think tanks, research institutions, civil society organizations, whoever else, is working on land and property rights and would like to see their programs represented, um, all these stakeholders are very welcome to join the database. The database will be housed in uh, the Global Donor Platform's webpage. And uh, I have to say a big thank you to the Global Donor Platform Secretariat, who was also making available some funding for regular updates. The update, the responsibility for the updates is with the individual donors but the platform will do all the management, the tech support, etc., etc. And now, in order for you to see what we've tried to come up with, um, I'd like to welcome Gregory Myers, who will introduce the donor database and the map. Thank you very much.